Artillerist is a class with a high defensive stat. Due to this, instead of heavy kiting, he is focused on dealing damage while enduring hits. The class seems simple, but could be advanced and technical due to his identity skill. The two major builds are one focusing on barrage mode, and one focused on normal skill like homing barrage. Regardless of what build you pick, you need to have the firepower enchantment engraving because it provides precious passive crit rates from 15% to maximum 40% which is amazing. Also not to mention it reduces 20% incoming damage where it neutralizes the grudge engraving penalty. Let's go over the important skills first. Homing Barrage. Your main DPS skill. You focus on your faster casting, damage tripod, and another damage tripod. Air Raid, main DPS skill, casting speed, crit rate, and damage related tripod. Multiple rocket launcher, another main DPS, damage related tripod, faster attack plus additional damage, more damage and more rockets tripod. One thing that you need to keep in mind for multiple rocket launcher is you need to fire it closer. Because it fires it like a shotgun. Summon turret, increased duration, damage related tripod, and damage related tripod. Keep in mind the barrage build uses the synergy skill instead of duration. Flamethrower, identity gauge gaining skill, also as a sub DPS, identity gauge gainer tripod, shield support, and damage related tripod. If you don't have enough skill points, feel free to put it into level 7. Energy field, your main utility skill. Barrage mode uses the identity gauge support and regular builds use reduced mana with a help on cooldown tripod and providing super armor tripod. Enhanced shell, your main synergy skill. It decreases 12% of the boss's armor. Also leveling the damage related tripod and burning effect damaging tripod. If you don't have enough skill points, feel free to put it to level 4 for synergy only. Napalm Shot. Your main counter and synergy skill. Your tripod will provide extra stagger for yourself and the team. For Barrage, this skill is actually for the Barrage build. It helps identity skill gauge gain, faster cooldown, and damage related tripod. Feel free to put it to level 7 or 4. Here are some of the Chaos Dungeon related solo skills I recommend. Plasma Storm. It provides stuns to minions, longer lasting, and damage related tripod. Gravity Explosion. Damage related tripod, shield support, and large AoE pulling tripod. Keep in mind that these two are only used in Chaos Dungeons in solo play. Let's go over the transformation mode. We have Bombardment Howitzer. It does quick damage and provides 12% reduced armor synergy for yourself and your party. And we have Focus Fire, a regular DPS skill, which will do more damage when enemies are staggered. We have Energy Cannon, a main DPS skill. And then we have the main shield skill. Also keep in mind you can use your shield skill while you're firing your other skills. Now let's go over the Awakenings, Missile Barrage. A large AoE DPS. And then we have the turret spawn. Make sure you press the awakening button again to activate additional lasers. So both of these awakenings are very good, so it's a personal preference of what you want to use. Let's talk about engravings and combat stats you should think about. Your class engraving firepower enhancement is a must, since it provides 20% extra defense, grudge is definitely something you can get earlier than others. Afterwards, you can aim for a keen blunt if your calculated crit rate is higher than 60%, or damaging engravings like Curse Stall, Adrenaline, and Raid Leader for a normal swiftness build. Combat stat is a little different per build. For the normal build, you aim for 800-900 to 900 on crit, and rest on swiftness for faster skill rotation. As for a barrage build, you aim for max spec with a sub stat on crit. This is because your barrage mode's damage is reliant on high spec. In summary, the primary engravements that you have under the radar are Firepower Enhancement, Grudge, Barrage Engravement if you're going for the Barrage build, Keen Blunt, 
Kerstall, Adrenaline, and Raid Leader. Some of the additional ones that you can also use are Soul Observer, Barricade, Hitmaster, and Stabilized State. Now let's talk about the playstyle of the normal build first. Artillery's identity gauge fills up as you land any of your skills. The firepower meter is split into three phases. As your phase increases, your damage increase. If you have the firepower enchantment engraving, you will also increase in crit rate as well. If you reach phase 3, you will be able to keep the buff for 20 seconds and return to cooling off mode of phase 0. If you have reached the firepower gauge to the maxima at least once, you can transform to barrage mode anytime you want. The key point to consider is the cooldown mode after phase 3. The buff only lasts 20 seconds. It's hard to efficiently min-max the phases for consistent DPS. A simple management tip would be keeping an eye on the transition between Phase 2 and Phase 3, and Phase 3 in cooldown mode. For example, you will need to save your important DPS skills including your Awakening for your third phase. Focus using your gauge generation skills like Flamethrower as much as you can when under Phase 3. As Phase 3 becomes closer, save your major DPS skills until you reach Phase 3. Continuing into general DPS rotation, you would always use homing barrage first because it takes a few seconds before it lands. Make sure you keep in mind where the boss's position is to land the skills. So the combination will be homing barrage, air raid, enhanced shell for synergy, and multiple rocket launcher to finish off. If you happen to have energy field ready to go, it is good to add it before your multiple rocket launcher because the casting tends to be long and you need to be in close combat to land full hits. So the final combination of skills would be homing barrage, air raid, enhanced shell, energy field, and then multiple rocket launcher. In between cycles, you would use flamethrowers and turrets to cover identity gauge gains and sub DPS. Let's talk about the barrage build a little bit. Your main DPS is your barrage mode and your homing barrage skill. The skill cycle is the same, but your enhanced shell is switched into 4 barrage because it provides more identity gauge. Since your synergy skill's enhanced shell is gone, you would need to switch your turret tripod into reduced armor synergy. Your goal is to fill up as much identity gauge as possible to transform as much as you can. When you're in turret mode, keep in mind the Q skill provides the reduced armor synergy as well. The DPS is ranked from W, E, then Q. Make sure you utilize your W skill if their enemy is staggered. You can cancel your E skill by pressing it again. If you happen to use the adrenaline engravement, be careful on using your W skill. You may lose your stack due to casting time being very long. You can manage your stacks by utilizing your shield skill R or E skill before the adrenaline timer runs out. So that's it for the basics of the artillerist class. Class is very durable, has great synergy and armor reduction and bonus stagger. Also it deals great amount of DPS with large AoE. The only technical aspects you should watch out is their firepower gauge so it's very newbie friendly as well. I highly recommend it for upcoming new users who likes heavy firepower classes. As always, thanks again. Bye!